While this video is mainly talking about relationships, the principles listed here could also be applied to a job, a church, or a non-romantic relationship as well. With that in mind, here are three signs that often mean God is saying it's not over. Number one, if a trial is causing progression rather than dissension, this is a sign God is saying it's not over. In Acts 15, 36 through 41, we're told that Paul and Barnabas had a split over their disagreement about Mark. Paul felt Mark was not fit to travel with them because in the past he abandoned them on their journey. But Barnabas wanted to give him another chance. At this point in the story, they couldn't see eye to eye, so they went their separate ways. Barnabas taking Mark and Paul taking Silas. But somewhere along the line, God must have spoken to Paul and said something like, it's not over. Why do I think that? Because in 2 Timothy 4 verse 11, Paul wrote, get Mark and bring him with you, for he is very useful to me for ministry. We don't know all the details that led to this reconciliation, but clearly the dissension was not permanent and this disagreement eventually led to progression. Likewise, trials and disagreements happen in relationships all the time. Sometimes these trials cause splits that last for good, and sometimes these splits are only temporary. The way you will know the difference is by the presence of progression occurring through the issue that is happening. Number two, if both you and the other side are willing to work through the barriers, this is a sign God is saying it's not over. For progression to occur in a relationship, there must be mutual willingness. If the willingness to get past the barriers is only one-sided, this relationship really is over. For example, perhaps you are romantically connected to someone, but you're currently long distance. If only one of you wants to move, but the other is fine with long distance, this relationship won't flourish. Both people should want to overcome the distance eventually so they could be together if the relationship is meant to last. Or maybe you're having a communication issue. If one person doesn't want to work through it, the relationship is over. But if you both want to figure it out to communicate better, the relationship doesn't need to be over. Or maybe your families don't approve of this connection because they don't value biblical goals for relationships like you two do. If this pressure from your family is pulling you apart, the relationship is over. But if this pressure from your families is actually pushing you even closer together, this is a good sign God is saying this is not over. So you have to be sober minded about the effects an issue is having. In dating, you gotta be careful you're not giving grace in ways that is unfit for dating. In other words, there certainly are very good reasons a non-married couple should accept that their relationship should be over. When you offer endless chances and stay together in dating, you often get trapped in an unhealthy relationship. However, if both sides are willing to work through something and there is good fruit happening because of this, this is a sign God is saying it's not over. And number three, if you are longing for something that is actually rooted in the next life, this is a sign God is saying it's not over. Sometimes an earthly expression of a heavenly desire does truly come to an end, but the desire in which this earthly expression was pointing towards will never end. In other words, there are some desires on earth that are merely pointing us towards what we long for in Christ. Relationships are meant to bring love into our lives, but ultimately human love is but a reflection of divine love. When human love ends, we must remember what God says about his love. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I gave up childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I have been fully known. Everything your heart craves will one day be fully satisfied in the manifest presence of God himself.